Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to remove or replace the battery of this Asus ROG GL502 VY. Here we have the DS71, but I think it's for every Asus ROG GL502 and I think the rest is the same. So, but here we have exactly this one here. And this is how it looks. I think it's not available on Amazon anymore. It was sold a couple of years ago. And now the problem is that the batteries usually have problems when they have been used for gaming a lot. So this is how it looks open. And I just wanted to upgrade the SSD storage to one terabyte, which is actually easy physically at least and I just uh, yeah realized that there's a problem with the battery when I want to close the back lid I realized that it is very high and I thought yeah okay that's really strange and I looked a little bit closer to that and I find found out that here it broke up that's crazy I mean, at long, as long as it was closed, I didn't realize that. I didn't see any problem. So this could be really dangerous. I, If you have such a PC, I highly recommend that you check it. You open the back and you check it because yeah, when it breaks up, it could leak and damage your whole laptop. This is a crazy thing and I think it's just because of the heat. When using it for gaming, then it can overheat and... So it's better to remove it. I think you can remove it and run it without the battery or you can replace it. It's about $50. I have found a listing which doesn't look too bad. I'll put it down into the description so you can order it right from there if you like. So it's not so much money, but I think you can run it without the battery as well. I haven't tried, but I think you could. I mean, all the PCs or the laptops which I had, you, uh, yeah, I've been able to run it without the battery. So I thought I'll include that in the video. So I've been taking out the battery and here we have the PC now and I'm clicking on start. I mean, it's connected with the power and as you can see, it's easily booting up. No problem of running without the battery inside so it's definitely a good thing to take it out when it looks like it's difficult to hold it with the camera but you can see how it looks totally inflated on both ends totally broken here so i think it's a good thing to take it out when it looks like this to prevent from any further damage so how to or yeah how to remove this thing here so first of course you have to remove the back plate so that's the back plate and you have to remove all the screws here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i uh, think that's ten and i highly recommend when you uh when you remove the the screws then you put them right where they are because they have different sizes and you, they, you have to make sure that you re-plug uh, them where or yeah, screw them in where you take them, took them out. Uh, otherwise it could cause problems, of course. So here we are already without the back plate. I mean, what I have found, what's good to remove the black back plate when after removing the back plate, you have to go underneath. I mean, there's just probably a really tiny gap here and you have to open that. So I took this thing that's from the kitchen. That's something to like for dough or something like that. It is plastic. It can, cannot cause a lot of damage and it's rather thin. So I was uh, at the corner, around the corners, I was uh, grabbing the lid a little bit here and here just needed a little bit like i think it was on two places can't remember which places which corners 
just two corners I started working in and as soon as I was able to grab it with my fingernails I worked along the sides with my fingernails and I've been able to remove the back plate easily and so this is what you see just after removing the back plate nothing else so here we have the battery and it is secured with four screws just make sure that you release um, all the four screws that's one here second here third here and number four is i think that was here around on this side so and there's a cable in the middle so that's the most important or most difficult part so you have to go into that i try to close up a little bit hope i can do that so you can see that here so you have to go from the side underneath here and then pull it up and same thing from the other side it's a little bit difficult with the camera but i think you get the point here from this side you have to go there's a really tiny gap go in between with the screwdriver and then turn it a little bit and you can lift it up and so at the end you will ex have access to this you can remove this thing here that's important because yeah this will hold it in place and it's p impossible to remove as long as the cable sticks here so after you have been losing this here you can a little bit lift it up like here to this side so grab it something like that it's a little bit difficult with the camera but you should be able to lift it up like this here and yeah because at the end here the back it is like it there are some small things which are holding the battery inside so you cannot lift the battery on the back as long as you haven't removed this cable here so first the screws and second the cable and after that you can re really easily remove the battery so that's it at the moment i leave it like that yeah that's it actually and yeah i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time